Hello from Bryson City. Time for another art lesson today. Today we're going to be doing pastels. Uh, we're going to be using soft pastels or chalk pastels. Um, you can pick those up uh, any arts and crafts store online. Uh, we're going to be using our regular drawing paper. However, there's other papers that you can get. You can actually get a pad for pastel. You can get um, colored um, papers that you can use for pastels, which are very nice as well. We're just going to be drawing. My internet's acting up again. So anyway, yes, so we'll be drawing on regular old white paper. Um, nothing special. Uh, you can pick that up anywhere out of your drawing, you know, sketchbook or any store or whatever. Anyway, enough with the recap. Now to the drawing. All right. Bits. Oh, I see hands. Yay. <laughs> Hi. Right, let's get our paper set up. So here's the uh, pastels we're going to be using. These are alpha color soft pastels. This is an older uh, set. I think you can still get these. So when you open up your box, they look like, hopefully they'll be all solid, solid pastel, like this one. Never used this one. Well, yeah, I have to use a little bit of it. And this one. Yeah, so it should be a solid, a solid stick. If they look like this, somebody's already been using them and you take it back. So. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to sit this, I'm actually going to turn my paper sideways. So we have room to sit our pastels up here at the top. You can leave yours like that. Your, your, your pad is a little shorter. Yeah. Okay. So to start off with, I'm going to start with this green, and we're going to draw some fruit um, to go with uh, with our you know to use our pastels today. Let me start off. I'm going to get a pencil out here. I'm going to draw a few things. So we're going to draw a pear. We'll draw a pear and. Fill that in. Then we'll draw an apple with our pastels. We'll draw an apple and fill that in. And last, definitely not least, we will draw a banana with our pastels. And fill that in. Some shading and tips for all of them. So we'll start off with the pear. So I picked out this nice light green. So we're going to make a, like a, what do they call those, a Bosch pair. No, not a Bosch pair. I think Bosch is the golden ones. If somebody knows, correct me. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not an expert in identifying pairs. Okay. So, a little bit of pastel here. Got a little bit out here. I do not have, um... Do not have a blending stump with me, so I'm just going to use my finger. Yeah, finger good to use when it yep. comes to blending. Soften it up, leave it kind of white over here. We'll go back over it with some white pastel later. Oh. Oh. I guess I go right here. Yeah. That goes there, and this one goes there. No, we have them in the wrong order. There we go. Here. I might use a tiny one. Then button. here. Okay. A um, little bit of this yellow. I have a little piece of yellow, so we'll use a little piece of yellow. Just some little accents with the yellow. The um, pastel works almost like paint, blends really nice. We'll go with a darker green this time, a darker green. And come in here to the back. Then I'm going to pick up this blue for a little bit of a shadow. I'll take the brown. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> blue some of my dust away too. We'll take the brown here and we'll put a stem. We'll come in and put a few spots.
Also go back over that blue with the brown. Get some nice shadow going on there. I'm going to blend that a little bit. Again, using my finger. If you have a blending stump, that works as well. Here we go. I've got a brighter color. A little bit of pink around the edge. We'll go around a few times right there with the uh, with my finger picking up on our blue and brown in the back. Just like that. All right. There's some white. I also have this like kind of a flesh tone peach color here. I'm just going to put just a little bit of that. And then some of this white. And then last but not least, I've got a lighter, um, like a tan. We're going to use that on the on the stem up here. All right. There we go. Betsy's making a pear. A pear. An orange pear. An orange pear. Very nice. You need some blue and work on your shadow on one side. There you go. Like a little blend. Yep. Look at that. Blend right in. You can do some more around here on the bottom. Yep. Just like that. And then you need a little white on the other side. For a highlight. Oh, and don't forget to come across here because remember, pears are shaped. If you look, pears are shaped kind of like a light bulb. So you kind of want to do the same thing. So you want to round it off a little bit. My hands are probably see. Yeah. Here, watch you watch this. Let me show you. My take hands out, are always Yep. Tired. Take out white. Like this. Round it off and pull it up there. And then over here, before you do that, don't blend it too much. Come around with your blue this way, and then up this way. Now just blend the blue, don't blend the white. Just a little bit, and come around. Take your finger around this way. There you go. Okay. Pretty good. I'm just going to good. Out. All right. Ooh, that's like a pretty All right. Pair. Now we're going to slide over next to our pair here. And we're going to do an apple and start off with with red. Red for an apple. Start off with a circle. <laughs> nice red, red apple. I'm going to pick up this orange-yellow. I'm going to come in the opposite direction. In here, like that. <laughs> My arm. That's all right. Then yellow. I'm going to go ahead and do some blending. That didn't happen. Oh, they break. You can't push down real hard on them. They will break. That's how you get all the bits and pieces. Yep. I'll buy a new pack. So I'm blending. I'm just blending all this together. Get that kind of orange, red kind of color that a uh, like a Fuji apple has. I've got a little bit of pink here. We're going to come through with just a little bit of pink. Go with a dark, darker blue than on the pear, and come around the outside here, backside like that. And then I'm also going to right here. We're going to put a divot right here in the top of the apple. Maybe a couple right here as well. So we can give that a little blend. Give this a blend. Just like that. Back with our brown. Let me actually get the big big stick of brown instead of that little chunk. And right here. There's our stem. I'm coming in with the darker green. Fill that in like 
like that. Lighter green. And last, the yellow. And connect that to our stem. Give our stem some of that yellow as well. Do a little blending on the leaf. And well, now we're done blending on the leaf. I'm going to come back through with this blue. I'm going to try and find a very sharp edge. Just lightly put in some veins on our leaf with the blue. Just like that. Put the other leg. <laughs> you know, apples have those nice, like, feet, like pronged feet on the bottom of them where they grow out of the, the flower. Come back in with just a little bit of lavender here. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck to a little the bit more red. Just a couple, couple spots of that. These chalk pencils are very soft and hard. Yes, they are. But can't go too too strong with them. Uh. All right, a little bit of white. Blend this white first, and then come back in with some strong white. There we go. A little bit up from the bottom so it streaks into it. And just a little bit over there to round it out. Okay. You got your apple? Yeah. I Very got my nice. Pear. Very nice. Apple and pear. Can we do flowers? Very good. Flowers? Maybe next time. I'm going to do oil pastels in the future. Oh. So... All right, so last but not least, a banana. A banana. If you have any minions uh, around, hide the banana. They will try and eat it. All right, so begin with the banana. I'm going to take the whole pastel. I'm going to leave it on the side like this. And then pull it around that way. There you go. Two, two motions, left it flat, just like that. And then now I'll come back through. Just fill that in a little bit. We'll leave that little bit of white. And then I'm going to pick up this uh, tan. And also I have like an off-white, like a sand kind of color. So tan first. We're going to come around the banana here. The banana has those nice edges in its peel. So we'll, f we'll fill that in like that. Then we'll come back with this sort of tan color. Give those a little bit of a blend with this tan color. Just like that. Still even the white right in here. Let me blend with my finger some more. Leaving the white. All right, I'm gonna go with a darker brown. Get the end of our banana. Accentuate the, those edges with a sharp end of the pastel. With the more blunt end of the pastel. Come back in. And put a few spots. You know, your bananas love to make get spots. They love to start turning brown, too. You treat them too, too roughly on the way home in the grocery bag. They'll start turning brown on you. You can also put them in a bag. Uh, I think if you put them in a bag and seal them up, they like to turn, start turning brown quicker as well. There's a banana. And I don't want this to be completely one-sided here so we'll uh, we'll get a little bit of green just a just a little green in the end a little green here in the stem this banana has just turned just turned really yellow I don't like using chalk pastels you not like chalk pastels they're so easy to break yes they are you can't you can't push down very hard with the chalk pastels at all 
You have to like this. And there we go. There's our banana. There's my banana. I see your banana. You, no, okay, it's a no, cranberry. No, no. The cranberry too? Cranberry. I'm done with this. Are you done? I'm going to draw some flowers because I love chocolate. You're going to draw but some flowers? What chocolate you? pastels are good for flowers. They might and be. And oil pastels. They might be. Because chocolate pastels you can blend with oil pastels are for a little bit better. But. So that's it. That's what we got for today. Um, again, like I said, you can get these pastels. If you missed what I said at the beginning of the video, you can get these pastels. Um, just about, um, I think Walmart, Michaels, um, a lot of places. I'm, I think, um, actually Hackshaw store in town in Bryson city has some, um, you can get, probably get them from her if you send her a message. Um, a lot of places still aren't open, but I think they're starting to open back up. So just keep keep a lookout for that and uh, order you some pastels. And again, the paper, it doesn't have to be this white drawing paper. They make wonderful pastel paper that's colored. Um, you can get it black, brown, red, yellow, any color you want. And uh, you can use these pastels on that. So... Uh, if you have any questions, post in the comments. If you'd like to share your drawing, post that in the comments too. Otherwise, have a great day, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow.